Good evening, I'm Jeff Lohr, and there has been a school shooting in Colorado. At least eight students have been hurt. Two suspects are in custody tonight. This was the scene at the charter school in Highlands Ranch as police converged late this afternoon. The school has more than 1,800 students, K-12. to It is 20 minutes south of Columbine High, where 12 students and a teacher were murdered 20 years ago. Mola Lenghi is following late developments. Attention all units getting information on a shooting STEM school 8757 Ridgeline Boulevard. Just before 2 o'clock local time Tuesday, a call of shots fired at the STEM school Highlands Ranch outside Denver. Police stormed the school, going classroom to classroom, searching for shooters, while other deputies canvassed outside the school. At least eight students were injured and taken to nearby hospitals. We were standing outside the parking lot uh, right next to the high school when we saw uh, an officer walk in with a patrol rifle and a vest right after they uh, set the school into a lockdown, which we could hear over the loudspeaker. Authorities ultimately arrested two people. We do believe they're juveniles, but we don't know that for sure. The seven who were and we don't know if they were students or not. But even after the arrests, the scene remained unstable, according to the Douglas County Sheriff's Department, as deputies continued the search for more possible suspects. According to the first shooter, the second shooter is still on the loose. Dark hair Nirvana hoodie. Please shoot me. We are starting to evacuate him. Located just eight miles from Columbine High School, the K-12 STEM school is home to 1,800 students, with seniors preparing to graduate this week. Uh, not the thing you expect the last three days of your high school that have happened. With the school locked down and with little information, parents waited anxiously to find their children at a nearby recreation center. Some hugged, others soothed their traumatized kids. Of the eight students injured in this shooting, four are in serious condition. Two are in stable condition, one is in good, and another is in fair condition. Again, two people are now in custody. A motive has not yet been determined, Jeff, but that is certainly something police are looking into as we speak. Of course. All right, Mola Lange, thank you very much for that.